guys and welcome back to my channel so today is um, Friday and um, it has been a little bit of a crazy day I'm sitting outside of um, the Golden Needle right now and that is where I get my eyebrows microbladed by my sweet friend Hannah I'm going to be doing another collaboration video with her today to get the second portion of my eyebrows taken care of um, Super excited to bring you guys like the sit down video on the healing process of my um, brow transformation and getting my eyebrows microbladed. Um, but for right now, um, I'm just gonna kind of bring you guys kind of like last time, do like a day in the lifestyle video, show you guys um, like my, like from like my perspective um, and do more of like a relaxed video. Um, this morning was absolutely insane. Um, woke up early and it was like snowing hard outside and the roads were really crappy but we went and we visited um, me and the kids visited my old work and said hello to those guys said Merry Christmas to those guys um, and then right after that I dropped the kids off at daycare and then I went and I got my eyelashes done and um, finally got those done I used to get them done all the time back when I was um, like pregnant with Rikers when I first started getting them done um, and then I stopped shortly after I had Riker. So now I have them again. I feel like a lady once again, and I'm super excited to get my eyebrows done. I had to go to a memorial service this morning um, for a young individual, and it was very sad. Um, so just kind of, it's kind of been a dark day, um, but it's also been um, a fun day. Um, I don't know. I just, honestly, I feel strange. Um, I don't know. I just, when a young person passes away so soon, um, it's just, it's very, it's very shocking, it's earth shattering, um, especially when it's um, a family that um, I've been close with, um, who I would consider a second family for the past 13 years of my life. Um, it just, it was a very, very sad morning. Um, lots of love and hugs and condolences out to um, that family. And yeah, so we just got done with, we, <laughs> I just got done with that um, and now, I am sitting outside the Golden Needle, like I said, and I'm about to go inside. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me and I am going to sit down and chat with Hannah again. We're gonna go over the um, touch-up process and I will record that in a sit-down style. And then I will show you guys here. So the next clip you guys are gonna see is me going inside and getting this touch-up done. So let's go and let's get these brows touched up. Um, right before I go in, I just wanna show you guys like a before. Um, so as you guys can see, they look super natural, um, and they have, they're have they a little bit thinner than they were when I first got them done, and they've faded quite a bit. They are fully healed at this point. Um, so we are going to thicken them up a little bit, give them a little bit more drama um, again, and kind of fill in some of the holes um, that can be seen now that the healing has um, finished up. So let's go on in and um, get these bad boys beautified. <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, um, they're very natural looking. They're beautiful right now. Um, I probably need to have some like shaving touch-ups right here. I haven't touched my eyebrows up today, or actually probably in the last week. So just to give you guys a good idea. Um, but they are very nice and natural looking right now. I think today what I am going to go over with with Hannah is we'll just maybe darken them up a little bit, thicken them up over here, and then get them nice and dramatic because I like my brow is a little bit more dramatic. I like a natural dramatic. Like I said, we're not trying to be Marilyn Monroe here, but anyways. Hmm, I got something in my eyelash. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe off some of the makeup now to look at the strokes a little bit cleaner. And then also when I get started, so that we have a clean surface, we don't wanna get makeup into the cuts. And then you can see the strokes that are in there. All right, now I just have a little brow shaping tool, a little razor, and I'm gonna shave up some of these hairs. Oh, those beautiful eyelashes are in the way. Flowey. <laughs> some people worry about the maintenance or upkeep with having your eyebrows microbladed, and truly, there isn't a whole lot. Um, you can still pluck or you can let them go natural. They'll still have this nice shape with just some hairs that are around the outside. It keeps it looking very natural. Uh, you can still get them waxed if you choose to. It would make the, the process for the wax are very easy because you have your shape. 
from where they need to apply the waxing. I also offer just a brow cleanup and what I do is I use the scissors and this tool and just clean them up. I don't wax them for you, but that's another thing I like to do. Ooh. So for all your brow needs. So now I got most of those extra baby hairs out of the way. I will apply the numbing. We have the numbing on and we are going to let this sit and get me nice and numb. This is the best part of <laughs> microblading versus getting a tattoo is that you get nice and numbed up. I suppose somebody told me that you can get a little bit of numbing though before tattoos if you if you need, right? Yeah, there's certain kinds um, of numbing that some tattoo artists will use. But it's different from Yeah, this. it's very okay, different. So this. it's very different from this. So if you guys are thinking, oh yeah, I know what it is, this is very different, very different. <laughs> and one of the reasons why um, tattoo artists don't offer this kind of numbing, mm -hmm. and also some uh, cosmetic tattoo artists don't offer numbing either, it yep. is kind of expensive. Okay. Um, but then if you're using it over large areas of skin, not only are you using more, so then the expense is more, but it doesn't last for hours on end. Yep. So a big tattoo isn't going to, mm -hmm. you know, it's not gonna work for that. Um, also, some numbing agents can change the texture of the skin a little bit, and you don't want that for a very detailed mm. tattoo piece. See? The more you know. <laughs> that was a really good tidbit of information. So she's taking off the numbing now. We've let it sit for like a good 15, 20 minutes. Um, so we're gonna take this off, and um, we also um, picked out the pigmentation. So we will show you guys here um, in a little bit, but we chose to do um, darker to touch this up. Um, and um, that's because I like more of a bolder eyebrow look. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna let Hannah do her thing, and then she's gonna run over with you guys um, what pigment we chose and all of the fun things. So. All right. So you'll see that we don't have any of the black dots like last time, and that's because the shape is still there. We just want to go over some of these strokes to make them a little bit darker. A little bit more noticeable. Fill in some of these spots that you can see that just the skin color there. And we have decided to go just one shade darker so that they're a little bit more uh, vibrant. And everybody's skin will heal a little bit different and that's why it's good to have this six week touch up.
So now, so as you guys can see here, um, I, I'm bleeding a little bit more than I did last time, which there's so many things that can affect that. We've got, um, we've masked it now, right? That's what it's called? Yep. We've masked it with um, pigment. So now that we're um, done with this side, we're gonna let that sit, and then we do this side, right? Is yep. that the process? That's correct. Okay, well, here we go. Now it's time for this side. Perfect, so that might be it. All right. So good. So I'll wipe it off and see. And okay. then, typically, I don't have to go over the entire eyebrow like this at the mm -hmm. touch-up. Mm -hmm. um, it just depends on how it heals, but since you wanted them to be a little bit darker, yep. I went ahead and went over the entire eyebrow. Okay. And okay. it was important for me to look where the strokes were that I already put there, mm -hmm. and it was almost like re stroke putting the stroke over that same stroke okay with another with that darker color okay and that will help so that they still look like strokes when you get close up versus just the the shaded filled in look with a whole bunch of pigments yep everywhere. okay all right good to know so we'll wipe it off in a few minutes and see if we need to add any more okay but that might be it yay okay sounds good all right I'll leave you guys there. Just loosening up the pigment so that when I wipe it off, it comes off easier. Yeah, you can see those. Looks good. Did I come up high enough? Because I can come mm -hmm. up higher. I yeah. totally can. From here, I, from here, it looks good. Yeah, I think that looks great. Perfect. Because it's not like you know, it's not like, like too much, and it's like no. Yeah, yeah. I think it's perfect. I think that um, like how you came in with them too, mm -hmm. for somebody that wants more um, conservative eyebrows, like I wouldn't even have touched them up. Yeah, they I like I said they I thought looked really good. And then you know after they're completely healed again, if you wanted to put makeup on them to make them darker when you have a full face of makeup on, you can certainly do that. Mm-hmm. Get, you have all the shape already to go by. You just can add it to be darker if you want. Yeah, so if you have like a crazy night out and you need some very dramatic brows. Mine I feel like are pretty dramatic, but... Now looking at them together, I might need to put one more stroke in the front of this side. Okay. Okay, yep, I can see what you See how that one right there just re, mm -hmm. re yep. go over that old one? It mm -hmm. looks dark enough, but it's not quite as prominent, and I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Okay, that sounds perfect. Just that one little spot, and anywhere else, I certainly can add some more to it. Oh, I think it looks good. <laughs> okay, I'll give that a few minutes to get in there. I'm just going to... added just one more stroke here to kind of even them out and then I think we're gonna be done 
Okay, so we just finished up, put a little bit of lipstick on so I could polish up a little bit. My cheeks are nice and rosy, but this is the final result. Um, we just added in a few darker strokes. Now remember with the healing process that these are going to lighten up over the next few days and I will record um, the rest of this process as well. So we added, like I said, just a couple of darker strokes in here um, to make it a little bit more dramatic and bring the brow up a little bit because as mine healed, they really squished down. So we brought them up again. Anyways, okay, I'm super excited. I am totally in love with my brows. Hannah's done it again. I just, oh, I'm super excited. Look how crisp those lines are. Like I said, when they heal, they won't be as crisp, but I can at least enjoy the crispness for like a couple days. I love them so much. So anyways, all right, I'm gonna take a couple befores and afters. I'm gonna take a couple before and after photos and then I'm going to wrap it up with Hannah here um, and we're gonna go over any final final details um, in the micro bidding process, but that's pretty much going to wrap it up, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, transformation of my brows from literally no brows to dream brows. It's been quite the experience and I'm really sad that it's coming to an end, but I'm very grateful. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just got done with my appointment. I put on lipstick for like part of that video video um so I look kind of crazy because I'm missing like makeup off my forehead but then I've got like these big bold lips um I just got done uh, we went over the entire brow again and really darkened them up I'm thinking that I'll probably have um, my sit down video ready to go on like Monday probably Monday next week because um, I'll have this video up for you well I mean you're watching it right now so obviously it's up and today is for you guys today is Saturday yeah, it's Saturday. So, anyway, all right, just got done, and now it's going to be the same process where I have to wipe them every hour on the hour um, to make sure that they are um, the lymph is coming off. And I did bleed a little bit more um, this time on this brow. I feel like we went probably a little bit deeper, and that's why it bled more. Um, anyway, so I'm exhausted. I've I had a really nice long talk with Hannah in there and I, Hannah I know you're watching, I, it refueled my soul. Sometimes as like an entrepreneur like doing YouTube and like building a brand that has never existed before, um, so like my brand, m, m Rustics or whatever it may be, but building your own thing and like building your own brand can be so, it can be so rewarding and so challenging at the same time. Um, and I have such a huge passion in like building a brand and um, like building something, doing something that nobody else has done. But not nobody else, but like no one else that I know has ever done YouTube. In fact, when I first started YouTube, I think probably half the people <laughs> thought I was crazy. Half of you still probably do think I'm crazy and that's okay. Like this is something that no one I know has ever done before. Um, and it seems weird to a lot of people, but I just, I love being on the edge and doing new things and and empowering like women and not just women, but like mamas and men, whoever you make, just empowering people in general is like part of why I do YouTube and is why I'm so passionate about what I do is because I reach, I reach an audience of people a tribe of people that I have that for some reason somehow I have gathered into one place my channel to uplift or make you laugh because I'm a total dweeb or whatever it may be but for some reason building a community and building a tribe and building a brand has been one of the most enjoyable experiences of my life but also um, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do or not that I've ever gone through it's been one of the hardest things that I have ever gone through in my life um, because I I am not one to like to be the center of attention which sounds so weird because I do YouTube so I don't know so when my like friends and family you know like most of them like don't talk about it but like I don't know like I don't know it's weird I don't like to be the center of attention and now with YouTube I definitely like seem like I like to be the center of attention but that's not what I'm about I'm I'm more so here to build a community and I just I love building a community I think that's what I love more than anything like a good analysis is or a, a good a, a good analogy would be like I 
my wedding day. My wedding day was one of the best days of my life, but also one of the most nerve wracking because I don't like to be the center of attention. Um, I would much rather be the person at a wedding, like in the back corner, like, like buying shots for everybody and like cheersing and like having a good time and like just like being a part of the people. That's who I am. Okay guys, so I'm home now. It's been a couple hours since I last recorded. At the end of that last clip, um, I had a homeless guy come up to my car window um, and oh. asked for he asked for money. He told me that he had just gotten out of jail today and was hard on cash. So that's why I had to stop recording. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, that was interesting. But um, now we're home. I'm home, the kids are home. Mike is home from work. Um, and I made chili, which looks so good. Um, this is, I kind of made like a mixture between like my dad's recipe and my um, mother-in-law's recipe. I make it like partially my dad's recipe because it's um, just a little bit spicy and it's really good. <sighs> so anyways, I've got the chili, I've got some water, and yeah, so all the good things. Um, my brows right now are, I don't know if you guys can see, but they are, they kind of sting a little bit right now. Um, yeah, I'm more just like aware. That's the best way for me to put it is I'm just more aware, but, um, so they sting a little bit right now, but it's not too bad. Um, plan for the rest of the night now is to get my house prepped for tomorrow because tomorrow Mike will be in the shop most of the day. Um, at finishing orders, and he'll be in the shop likely most of the night too. Um, but um, I will be recording. I've got to get. There's so many presents downstairs. I have to get those wrapped. Mm, I might do that Sunday, but I have to get those wrapped, and I'll do like a um, like wrap presents with me video. Um, I also have that gift guide. I've been talking about the past few videos, so before I wrap them, I'll record that. But most of all, I need to do a get it all done with me, like clean with me, because holy cow, my house is a wreck. I need to get the dishes done because, as you guys know, dishwasher still not working. You we need to call a dishwasher guy. The, you said you're not gonna do the dishes. Oh, I said I'm not gonna do the dishes. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to do the dishes, even though mommy doesn't like to do the dishes. I still have to do them. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to update you guys because I abruptly ended earlier. That was just a little bit scary, but it has been a day, you guys. It has been a long day. It's been kind of like a roller coaster day, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, I'm just really happy to be home. <sighs> really, really happy to be home right now. And I could just, like sleep for two days straight is what I feel like. I've been all over town today. Very tired. All right, I'm gonna have some spicy chili and clear out my sinuses. And You're me, right? uh oh, what happened? I like it too. I think um, somebody. I think somebody liked that. Riker, is that good? And, and you say it to me too. Come on, you say it to me too. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Are you trying to eat it, buddy? <laughs> oh, man. You can't Mom? get enough. Mom. What's up? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that bottom was <hurt. laughs> Is that good? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, that's good, he says. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Watch my white Kaya, do you like it? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. Is it good? Yes. You love chili? Yes. Yes. I think you like cheese more than you like the chili. Oibies. I've split oibies downstairs in the basic with bread. Yeah. What am I thinking now? Because I split oibies. You don't sell your parents. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off, because I keep losing all my stuff. Aspen just spilled a bunch of flour. Aspen Ray. So 
a nutty girl. And Mike stole the broom and brought it to the garage. How am I gonna clean this up? Dang it. I hope you guys have enjoyed these like more like real vlogs, like these like these true vlogs where it's just like me like going about my day. It's been like kind of boring. Um, like today, maybe a little less boring. Aspen, get out of the garbage. It's been like a little less boring because I was actually doing stuff. I couldn't necessarily record like vlogs the whole time because the one was um, like I was doing a collaboration video. So I'm going to end it there for today officially and I will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 15 man guys we're really we're really getting up there all right I'll see you tomorrow make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you miss out on all of my other vlogmas videos and all of my really good normal videos too and I will see you tomorrow for another day of vlogmas okay bye guys